Hello and welcome to Naivety Gaming. I'm your host Matt, and this is the 63rd episode of Cheap. Wait a minute. This isn't right at all. So welcome to Naivety Gaming. Again, I'm your host Matt, and this week, and for future weeks actually, we'll be doing something a little bit different. I'm trying to include more up-to-date games rather than staying in the blast from the past eras of Magicka and Dungeon of the Endless. Oops, we like to play those games though. But what we'll be doing for Cheap Weekly Thrills is, I'm figuring, maybe people will be more responsive to some games that are actually well known that are actually coming out for the first time on the eShop. Long story short, welcome to Cheap Weekly Nindies, where I review and browse and all those fun things, these various games that we have found here on the eShop on the Switch. So let's kind of jump into it. Um, this week we've got a couple of interesting games that have come out. Uh, a lot of us are probably aware of the fact that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate had just come out on Friday, and I don't even know why I'm recording this right now and not playing that. So, moving forward, we have a lot of interesting games that have just come out. Gear Club 2 Unlimited, uh, the first tree, what else had I noticed? Uh, we had... Santa Tracker, hello neighbor, uh, Quantum Circular, Cor- Coron- excuse me, I'm terrible with names, Quarantine Circular, um, so kind of going off of the idea of cheap weekly thrills rather than just saying, go play Gear Club 2, let's go play it now, and have to spend $60 a week. This is more for our budget gamers, those who are looking at finding cheaper games. And on Steam, a completely different platform, when you say cheap, you're thinking pennies on the dollar. Well, we're now playing a console game and that is no longer a viable option. So we're figuring our cheap game will be a game that will be $10 or less. So as I browse here on on uh, the eShop, I almost said Steam again, on the eShop, we'll be finding games that are $10 or less. Now for our first week, the game that I found the most interesting happens to be a puzzle game. And it also happens to be the cheapest price I've ever found in Cheap Weekly Nindies and Cheap Weekly Thrills of a whole price of zero dollars and zero cents. That is Color Zen. So as you can see, it's kind of a puzzly game with Triforces because Nintendo. Color Zen is a new kind of puzzle game. One that invites you to put on your headphones, relax and find your way through an abstract world of colors and shapes. Um. With simple, intuitive controls, the game invites you to relax and immerse yourself. There are no points or penalties for failure, just an abstract world of color to move you through to move through at your own pace. So put on your headphones and find your way with Color Zen. Um, game features meditative puzzle cracking flow, just match colors to win the level, immersive soundtrack that keeps you in the groove, and a total of 460 levels to solve. That includes all of this DLC. Um, it turns out that there are quite a bit of DLCs. Um, so in all honesty, even with all these DLCs for a free game, uh, yes, it can be quoted as microtransaction, but the thing about this game is, you know, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like a microtransaction that is nibbling at you and nibbling at you and just trying to take all of your money. It's just like, okay, if you want to buy everything, it's seven bucks. Not even. So, um, so yeah, I think this will be a very fun first game to play. It is by, oh, Cyprona, Cypronia? I'm going to say Cypronia. So, let us jump on into... The world of Color Zen. Hello and welcome to Color Zen, a wonderful, simplistic, intuitive puzzle game about color matching. 
So let us jump on into this. As you can tell from just kind of how it's set up, Color Sin is a game that is very apparently made for a mobile device. As it's saying, swipe for more levels. You kind of awkwardly have to hold and then move your joystick left and right. Um, but already the soundtrack is amazing. The art design is very much so of a minimalistic and very much so of a specific style style excuse me specific style that really wraps everything together and makes it just a whole nice product um so as you can tell here we are viewing some of the dlc here but if we want to look at just the main levels of the game here are our six chapters so within chapter one, we have a whole 20 levels that we can complete. So let us go back to level one, or rather back to level one for me. So as you can tell with this game, you have a border color. And simply put, you just kind of take whatever this guy here is, and you just move it on over. Alright, so now that we have that first level out of the way, um, simply put, you take the next color, You'll move it on over and again do the same thing here so again more or less you're kind of thinking you're thinking backwards in this way so you want to be able to take take your border color and make that the last one you pick and then so what's the other option that we have this is our first color here fills up that and fills up that so already we're making great progress with such an awesome game. Um, so, our border color is this kind of orangey yellow color. So that's going to be our last one. Uh, the next one to intuitively do would probably be the pink. So then our first color will actually be the aqua, which ironically actually is shown in... Um, was shown in our choices there. Um, so now we've got this pretty interesting color shape here. We've got an orange inside an aqua color. So, interesting. Alright, that being said, so that kind of color shape is more or less what we're doing on... I lost my train of thought, actually. So moving forward, I'll just do a couple more levels so I can leave you guys with many more levels to play in the future. Could actually be a pretty quick video then. So for this week of Cheap Weekly Nindies, that was a very short episode of Color Zen. I hope you guys enjoyed this content, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a lot more Switch games coming up. We've got Awesome Knots coming up. We're finishing up uh, our first couple bulks of Ori and the Blind Forest. That should be coming back uh, in the future as well as we're very anticipatingly waiting the release of Ori's sequel. Stardew Valley is coming to a close as well in a couple next weeks. So stay tuned for all of that. And again, more Switch games. Lots of that coming on up. That was our very first week of Cheap Weekly Nindies. I hope to see you guys in our second week of Cheap Weekly Nindies. Well, we'll browse the eShop once more and find some great cheap games just for you. I'm Matt, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.